Okay, welcome back. Well, more or less me welcome back because I have not posted anything in oh god knows how many months. Anyway, so as you might be able to see, I've got uh, a nice web page open on Oprah here, and we're going to be taking a look at the latest YouTube backslash Google apocalypse. Not adpocalypse, but just apocalypse, because that's just how bad it's gotten. Now, to note uh, a few things, this first article was uh, published, we're going to be looking at two, by the way. This is off on the fly. I don't normally do news, uh, just to get a few things out of the way. I don't normally do news. Um, I just feel this is really important because this might be the final final straw for many people on YouTube. Because, well, I'll explain why that is. There's an interesting you know, few things in here. Because you might think by reading this that you'd be perfectly safe as long as you're not part of ISIS or something. You'd be very, very wrong. Anyway, you might notice first and foremost this is by Google in Europe. Uh, that, that's kind of important to note because it kind of shows the very plausible source of why Google is making these changes, and that would be most likely because they've been pressured by the EU, by multiple non-governmental organizations, and even governmental organizations of areas outside of the EU, to combat terrorism online. As many of us have probably seen, there is definitely ISIS content still available on many modern social media and just general like video platforms online still. Most notably Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. Unfortunately, they've done a pretty crappy job of actually dealing with it, or at least in the opinion of the EU and other non-governmental organizations. Unfortunately, their own, it's not their only interest just to fight terrorism, as you'll see. Now, this is the original announcement article, and this was published June 18th, 2017, so actually a while ago, because it's right now it's of this recording, it's uh, August 2nd, so it's been a few months. But this will get us the kind of basic platform we need to move on. So the, obviously this is the head of the title, Four Steps We're Taking to, Today to Fight Terrorism Online. And this is by Kent Walker, General Counsel for Google. And from that we can kind of assume that as much as this is regionally based, this implementation will be worldwide, as we'll get into later. Editor's note, this post appeared as an op-ed in the Financial Times earlier today. Obviously not today today, but when it was published. Okay. So terrorism is an attack on, and I'm not going to read all of this, but I'm just going to read the key points, like the uh, you know, introduction here. Terrorism is an attack on open societies, and addressing the threat posed by violence and hate is a critical challenge for us all. And you know what? To a degree, I actually do agree. Google and YouTube are committed to being part of that of the solution. Sorry, We are working with government, law enforcement, and civil society groups, those are the NGOs, to tackle the problem of violent extremism online. And, and you'll notice it just switched from terrorism to extremism. Two very different things in law. While they can be interconnected, they do have differences, as we'll get into later, and as they actually identify later. There should be no place for terrorist content on our services. I agree, other than for newsworthy purposes. But what I think really doesn't matter that much. Now, while they've worked for many years, according to them, to identify and remove content that violates their policies, the uncomfortable truth is that they, as an industry, must acknowledge that more needs to be done now. And this is where the fun begins. There are now apparently thousands of people around the world who are still re currently reviewing and reviewing and counter abuse of our plat of their platforms. And these would most likely be the super flaggers, of which I think there were 200, and they've added 50 more or something. Um, don't cite me on that, but uh, they, they've been, you know, definitely expanding their uh, YouTube super flaggers. Now oh, they're Google super flaggers, I think is what they're actually called. But anyway, so their engineers have developed a technology to prevent re-uploads of known terrorist content using imaged matching technology. A.K.A. They're, you're not even able to upload this stuff in the first place. 